Yeah, um, my, my name is Yuki Koshikata, uh, senior curator of NTT ICC in Tokyo. And in your talk, you were explaining or talking about the if you expand your vision beyond the normal human viewpoint. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can elaborate a little bit on this. Yeah, when we think about the progress of uh, technology, uh, of course, the technology was uh, developed by the human being. But the human being has a, its a starting point of a physical body, physicality, and limitation of physicality. Mm -hmm. So we had some notion of uh, time and space cultivated, developed by the, in the history, by the progress of uh, technology. But we might, we might think more, uh, um, I think it's very important to feel another way uh, to see the, the world from different different kind of perspective. For example, um, the von Yuxku, he's a, a biologist in the later 18th century in, based in Germany and also Estonia. He uh, raised coin, coin's idea or notion of uh, Umwelt. This mm -hmm. is important, I think. It's uh, not only human, but uh, you can also think about each creature, living creature, even smaller one, has each living world, like Umwelt. So this is uh, the idea uh, very important for us. But you were also hinting mm -hmm. at that mm -hmm. now that we have means to differently view it mm -hmm. or represent and even map it, yeah. it's mm -hmm. changing back to how we yeah. live our yeah. small perspective world. Yeah, actually when thinking. we think about human being, of course, especially if after the um, modern, modernization uh, of Af after the culture, so it's easy to think the human being as a more like, uh, like uh, one person or individual, <laughs> individual mm -hmm. actually. But uh, when we get to know more about uh, wha what's happening in the world of phenomenon or in the nature, um, yeah, we start to think everything is in a way uh, dynamically inter interacted, mm -hmm. inter interacted each other. So human beings also a part of this kind of phenomenon. So we might think and we might uh, imagine the new way of uh, uh, perceiving the world based on the information dynamics. And uh, by using the current technology, and I think it's getting much easier for us to uh, imagine and sensing the, the invisible dynamics of the world beyond the human beings. Mm -hmm. and what do you mean by this term, homo... Uh, <laughs> oh, what? The, you, you coined the term today, homodynamic? Uh, homeodynamics. Yeah. Yes, homeodynamics is a term actually coined by one um, scientist and uh, of the uh, mathematician uh -huh. of uh, Tokyo University named uh, uh, Kazuaki Aihara. Yeah. He is, uh, has been researching the cow theory and uh, from his perspective of observing the world by uh, complex the science, he found that the world, including body, also world, can be interpreted not, not that by the term of uh, um, homeostasis. Okay. Homeostasis is uh, the kind of general world that people can see the, 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 like each human being or each creature is uh, in good operation by having balance. But uh, not, uh, not, uh, uh, sorry, not homeostasis, statics came out from the statics, mm -hmm. but homeodynamics is something the each in living creature has some, uh, have some dynamics inside and the, the the, I would say it's not actually regularly, and the heartbeat is not regularly beat because it has some uh, uh, chang ever changing dynamics. So, not totally regularly, then it operates well. So, if you get ill, yeah. uh, the heartbeat getting much more regular. So, okay. that's funny to see, but uh, the all uh, human being, in also the uh, living creature, has some uh, instability. But instability or chaotic or chaos based uh, um, mm -hmm. how to say um, movement, then it will make the creatures or human being stable mm -hmm. and also develop somehow. By time and space, when we think about the living creature, always based on based on the, the rhythm is based on more chaotic, chaos, chaos theory or nonlinear phenomenon based, then this will be applied for making the creatures develop or how to, serve, to, to be stable. We had, uh, we had, there was a discussion today mm. about like 
whether to implement technology stronger into mm. society as well as the body even mm -hmm. or, or if there's a danger involved. Mm. One could either say this is going to increase the mm -hmm. dynamics mm -hmm. because it's going to be more trans and fluid uh, networks and information flow mm -hmm. or one could also say it's more going to structure us and thus maybe hinder and, and, and uh, in, well enslave, I don't know, mm. make dependent at mm -hmm. least. What is your which side are you on? Um, it's uh, um, also for human being we can um, prospect a uh, prospect a future. Then we can see and we can define it can be good and bad, okay. like this. But uh, I don't know. I have no answer about this. But uh, at least I want to say that uh, we can just get over the definition based on the human beings because uh, we might have to think more uh, differently based on other possible creatures or phenomenon or crime, climate or natures. So I not so much human centered. <laughs> and, yeah, I hope to make, I, I hope this kind of approach to the, the world, including human, also works uh, to make the to make the world better <laughs> okay thank you very much